Well, this week marks one year since the city of Boise began making some pretty big decisions in response to the coronavirus pandemic. Notable one, I'm sure a lot of us remember the city shutting down all indoor dining. No more going out to eat or even stopping for a drink with friends, at least not until we could do it safely. At that time, no one knew when that would be. Quickly, every day, life in the city of trees began to look and feel very differently. Still does for a lot of us. And today we spoke with Boise Mayor Lauren McLean about this time a year ago. We get a reflection on what we've been through the last 12 months. Joe Paris shares Mayor McLean's perspective on tough decisions adapting to change and what it's been like navigating a pandemic for the first term mayor of the state's largest city. It's been a long year for all of us. It's been a year filled with sacrifice, um, with I'd say hope and optimism because I've seen our community come together to protect each other. After being sworn into office in early January 2020, Boise Mayor Lauren McLean very quickly hit a mountain of unexpected challenges created by a global pandemic. Exactly a year ago, Mayor McLean was among the first leaders in Idaho to make notable moves in response to COVID. We just passed that one year anniversary of the first case, and this week is the one year anniversary of um, the legislation at the city level that allowed us to pass health emergency ordinances and then the announcements we made in Boise City to protect our residents. Looking back on those decisions, not many really knew what the community was in for. McLean says she and her team knew they had to act. I remember those early press conferences. They were very tense because nobody knew it was going to happen. And the announcements were very big with closures and restrictions. Um, does that weigh on you still? Or how do you, I guess, reflect on those first big decisions? Yeah, I remember you was, were there for the first press conference we had where we were making some of those announcements. They were tough decisions to make. But I'll say that we made them with confidence and certainty because we were learning we were, we were we were learning from what other cities had already experienced and some of the mis missteps that they made looking at the science and recognizing that while we didn't know much about the virus there were steps that we could take to protect people like other city leaders across the country mayor mclean was targeted with very loud criticism McLean's home eventually became a spot for nightly protests with the message that her orders and restrictions went too far these protests paralleled a time where Boise, Ada County, and the state of Idaho saw rising case counts and deaths. That was tough. And I, I guess I'd say through this experience, we all learn that we can't know everything, that we have to make decisions, um, trust, trust the, what the experts know, but at the same time, trust what we're hearing from people, and then move through these tough moments with a bit of comfort with the uncomfortable, which was that we needed to make decisions. Um, we needed to support our residents who were losing loved ones. We needed to honor that in a way that was difficult because we couldn't come together. McLean says her priorities for 2020 certainly changed as the world we lived in changed. Still, she says her and her team at the city remained focused on the platform she ran on. Well, you know, I just came out of a meeting with our senior leadership team at the city of Boise, and I want the community to know that while we addressed COVID, we learned from it, we, you know, worked in different ways, protected people and delivered new services. At the same time, we remained focused on the challenges that this community made clear we needed to address, affordable housing, building out a transportation system as traffic and congestion returns as we grow building an economy through climate innovation and transition to clean energy. We worked on all those things at the same time that we had to address the urgent needs of the moment related to COVID. Mayor McLean says despite tough times, she was encouraged by the people of Boise, people she is incredibly grateful to have been trusted by. I learned but was also reminded once again how committed Boiseans are to each other and that when we call on each other to make sacrifices, we will do it. And we saw that time and time again, this desire of Boiseans to help each other, to step up for their community, and to help us protect this community and ensure that we recover in stronger ways. All right, Joe, she said we learned from COVID. What was the biggest lesson that she learned over the last year? 
Well, I think like a lot of us, Brian, uh, Mayor McLean told me that she learned a lot about science and uh, scientific efforts over the last year. But she says really, as she mentioned, six weeks into the job, she learned quickly how to communicate with other leaders here in the Valley and how to get a lot of stuff done remotely. Um, something that I think a lot of us really struggled with at the beginning and really it got better and better as the year went on and we got more familiar with it. Uh, Brian, uh, Mayor McLean and I, we delve into a few other topics and we actually are going to have the the full interview with the mayor available on the KTVB YouTube channel. That'll be there later this evening and we get into a variety of topics about the last year, a real retrospective. Yeah, we certainly learned a lot about science. I mean, positivity rate, how things play out, testing, all that stuff. Yeah, there's a lot that we've learned in the last 12 months. All right, thank you, Joe.